Keek Palmer appeared as Alice in a new teaser for the film, which debuted this month at the 2022 Sundance Film Festival. Alice is an enslaved woman who ran away from a farm, after getting tired of being mistreated by her owners she discovered that the year is 1973 and things were changing. Frank, played by Common, is a political activist who assisted Alice in understanding black emancipation. At some point, in a scene where it appears Palmer's character was ready to fight back her oppressors after unlearning the lies from her past it's the woman you used to own. You watched us get tormented, Palmer's Alice said on the phone to her former oppressor named Paul. Says, it's my turn no effort from Palmer and Common, Alice also features other talented stars, including Johnny Lee Miller as Paul, Gaius Charles as Joseph, Alicia Witt as Rachel Keek Palmer is one Hollywood star blessed with an array of talents. The actress started her film career in 2004, featuring in the black drama movie Barbershop 2, Back in Business. Subsequently, she featured in the educative spelling bee-based flick Aquila and the Bee, garnering critical acclaim for her role as the leading lady Kristen Verlinden wrote and directed the thriller based on a true story. In an interview with Los Angeles Times, Verlinden revealed that a People magazine article on May Miller, who faced enslavement in Mississippi until escaping in the 1960s, inspired her narrative The Keek Palmer-led film may seem like it follows an intricately crafted and ludicrous plotline but actually, it's inspired by very real-life events you would be forgiven for thinking the movie is set before the Emancipation Proclamation of 1863 but actually, that's part of the intrigue of this movie. Because actually, we quickly realize that, beyond the trees of the plantation Alice, Keek Palmer, has been kept in, the year is 1973 it's time travel at its most hopeful, something Palmer recently commented on in an interview with The Hollywood Reporter. She admitted that she feels very proud of the past, of my ancestors, what they did, and how I'm here, the fact we're still standing, and that we're not extinct as a culture, and as a people the ominous, and rather empowering, movie reveals that Alice can't write, and moves around almost like a ghost. But we also see her explore her black identity through the art, music and styles that political activist Frank Common introduces her to. It's a story of discovery, pride and consciousness as much as it is a thriller about enslavement, race and oppression and like antebellum, which stole conceptually from Octavia Butler's Kindred with diminishing returns, Alice is somewhat based on a true story. Lyndon used a 2007 People magazine article as the loose base for her film, taking the life of Mae Miller, and forcing it into a black exploitation mold. Miller left her plantation and emerged into the world in the 60s, when the civil rights movement was still in full swing. In an interview with Collider, Lyndon said that she wanted Alice to emerge in the 70s so that she could take inspiration from strong black women of the time, most notably Pam Grier. With Grier as her muse, Alice carves out a new and more confident identity with the clothes and large afro to go with it. Lyndon, who previously worked for director Quentin Tarantino, approaches black history in a similar vein to Django Unchained, more focused on retribution than the characters themselves. All we know about Alice is that she used to be a slave and isn't any more who have Alice, a film much more interested in symbolic revenge than the woman herself that fails to treat its heroine like a real human.